Well, everything seems to be copacetic here, man. They seem to have learned their lesson, huh? Maybe. No confrontation? Not really. Nothing. So, I say what we do now is we go back to the truck and we head to Monster Motors and go see how they feel about the first amendment. What do you think? Let's go. What are you guys up to? Um, I don't know if you're aware, but uh, on YouTube there's a video of a guy from here in Jackson who's a first amendment auditor. His name his channel's Freedom News Now. And he was out here recording in public on that side. And two guys and a lady from inside here came out, confronted him. He, you don't have to speak to someone in public when they come up to you. That's America, right? We're free to do that. And he didn't say nothing. He was just filming in public, which is a constitutionally protected activity under the First Amendment. And they came out, confronted him, assaulted him by pushing him a couple times and then chased him across the street, took him down to the ground, two of them put him in a headlock, uh, put him in a hospital. And uh, all because he was doing what we're doing right now, just filming in public. But so, you know. When people, did that happen? Um, I think it was about two weeks ago or so. Yeah, it's on YouTube, Freedom News Now. He was, yeah, yeah, the cops came. I'm not sure if anybody got arrested, you know, for, for the assault. But, I mean, he didn't do anything to anybody, you know. Um, they spoke to him. He said something that sounded like Arabic, even though he's not Arabic. Um, so based on that, they come to the wrong conclusion that he was here for nefarious reasons or whatever and decided to tra track him down like they were cops, take him to the ground and commence to beating the shit out of him. So, but no, no, sir, we're not here for you. We're here for them. Absolutely. But you're in public and you have no expectation of privacy in public, sir. So, pardon me, that you're more than welcome to. We, 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 we implore people to use their First Amendment right, which is to fight. What about our right to privacy? You don't have any in public. If you want privacy, you got to go home. Pull your blinds down. Why don't you go home? Well, I, I will after I'm done. Ask anybody here. I, I don't care. Nobody. I, I see what these guys did in here, and that's that's not allowed in America. You're going to assault? You want to assault me for what I did? You want to take me to the ground and beat me up for what I'm doing? No, you don't. All right, then. If you don't want to be recorded, don't come up to the camera. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Yep. Have a good day. You guys have a wonderful day. We'll be back, though. Well, why don't you come on and do it? And that stop you, but fear and air. And I just took all the air. Hold my camera. I ain't gonna do nothing. You're the one that confronted me and now are threatening me. You just threatened to beat my ass. So come do it. Threatened to put him in the hospital. There's always a snowflake in the crowd that has to say something about a camera. Why don't you go home and be a scared little sheeple in your home? Bye. See you, Felicia. Give me your address, I'll come over to your place. You get there. Just don't come on my private property. You can record anything you can see from public. Know the Constitution. Know your rights. And if you're going to verbally assault someone, be prepared to be verbally assaulted back. Damn right I know it. What are you going to do about it? Just run your sponge guns. Keep talking. It feels good. I got one. Oh, but I do. Oh my goodness. Huh? Hey, you're still talking, ain't you? Up in. That was awesome. Stop. That was awesome. Some people just don't respect other people's constitutionally protected rights. Snowflake. No, ma'am. What are we doing? Public meeting. Restrooms, pretty small city hall. It's bigger over there. That's the administration and the police department over there. We'll be going there next. Well, what are they doing? What do I want to 
Okay. How's it going? Good, how are you? All right. Good. You got it right, buddy. Appreciate that. Yep. How's it going? How you doing? All right. How about yourself? Hot out there today. I know that's right. I know that's right. I like your town here. It's pretty quiet. A lot quieter than Lansing. I wanted to come up and get a peek at it for my viewers. Give them a good view of what DeWitt has to offer for the public. Just doing public recording. You also have uh, gun, gun locks. locks. Yes. Gun. Free gun locks. So oh, nice. if you don't have a lock for your gun and you don't want to pay for one, you can come to DeWitt City Hall. And acquire one. And we'll just verify that those are free. Hi there. Hi. So are those gun locks out there for the public for free? Awesome. Awesome. That's a quality, that's a great service to the community. We appreciate that. Oh, I don't own a gun, so I don't I it might I might use it to lock my kids up. <laughs> sir, something I can help you with? No, sir. Not right now. Okay. Well you're not allowed to take images of videos of the post office. Are you familiar with Poster 7? I'm not sure what I can show you right here if you if you aren't. Oh, what does that say? It says that I'm allowed to do what I'm doing. I'll go look at it. Go Absolutely. Okay, so photographs for news purposes. Maybe taken in entrance okay. lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except where prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or authorized personnel or federal court order or rule other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head okay so so i'm i'm, I'm, I'm here ask you to turn that off though, I'm, not I'm, not, I'm not going right. to i'm not going to fair enough i would like I, I, no i would like to buy a stamp though 55 cents. awesome Here you are. Thank you, ma'am. Here you go, bud. Hold on to that. So here at the uh, DeWitt Post Office, is he a supervisor that I just spoke with? That's the postmaster. That's the postmaster. Okay, well, the postmaster in DeWitt, um, he supports our troops, but not our Constitution. way through the 27th amendment absolutely That's you fair enough absolutely use your fir your first amendment right as well absolutely are you calling the police okay good just wanted to make sure flag still half mass in michigan there's an outside shot of their post office So now you understand that the public can come into your lobby and record from a public space? Well, I, I have a different interpretation. Well, that, there is no interpretation. There, your, that's your own rules and policies say that we're allowed to do so, and the Constitution under the First Amendment gives me the freedom of press. So, ergo, you can't stop me from recording in there or anything that I can see with my eye because you cannot trespass the eye. So anything I can see from your counter back, I can record. And I'm not here to be... A jerk, a hard ass. I'm here to help educate the public as to what our rights are. Mm -hmm. And and I just came from the DeWitt Police Station and City Hall, and I went in there recording. And the lady at the desk first, she had a problem with what I was doing. She asked me, and I didn't respond at all. And her boss came up to her and told her he's allowed to do what he's doing. This is a public space, and he can record from public. You, you, the postmaster, the post office, some people say they're a private entity, but they receive so much federal funding that they are accountable to the public. Would you agree? So when the next person comes in here with a camera doing the same thing, that they don't have the same kind of interaction that we had, or you tell me to turn my camera off and so forth. Cause you don't just walk up to somebody that's out on the sidewalk and tell them to turn their camera off, do you? No? I mean, you can answer. It's yes or no. I'm just going to okay. not have just, this conversation any further. Uh, that's sad. You're, you're, that, that's sad because you're a postmaster. You, you're a public employee. Mm -hmm. 
and, and, and you're accountable to the public, but yet when the public wants to question you and educate you, you don't want any part of it. You know what they call that? They call that tyrants, and what you're doing right now is called the walk of shame. I am listening to everything you say. Okay. I am treating you with respect. Absolutely. I appreciate you coming to my office, and I'm going to say have a great evening, and I wish you the very best for the next place you go. We appreciate it, brother. We hope you have a good day. We got two of them. Hot dog and no bun. It's a wiener. Huh? That one? Yeah, he just seen me. He knows who I am. He just seen me. Oh, this would be great. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Nice to see you again. <laughs> uh, you know, making sure everybody respects the First Amendment around here, but apparently the postmaster don't. So let's talk about that real quick. Yeah, uh huh? Give me six feet. Were you inside there without a mask on? I absolutely was. Oh boy. I have a medical condition. I cannot wear a mask. All right. Well, you got to talk to the governor about that. Uh, no. There's a medical exception there's to the mandate. Zero. There's a there's a medical exception it. to the mandate. Be in public. But you can't create a disturbance. I'm not creating a disturbance. Okay. I, d I showed him his own rules and policy that says I'm allowed to be in there. And then we came out here. I'm in public recording. Okay. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not committing any crimes. You go in a public place, record, do whatever you got to do. Absolutely. You just can't create a disturbance. I'm not. I wouldn't think of okay. creating a disturbance. Why would he say that you were creating a disturbance? I don't know. A hard time? Because they feel like my camera is a disturbance. No, I didn't give him a hard time. He told me I couldn't record to turn my camera off. And I said, your own rules and regulations says that I can do what I'm doing. And he's, I'm like, do you want to see it? So I showed it to him. He come outside. I followed him out. I was like, are you calling the police? Apparently he lied to me. He said no, because I was going to ask for Red Bull. I'm pretty thirsty. Did he and, ask you to leave? Huh? Well, it doesn't matter. He can ask me to leave all he wants to. It's public property. No, I'm not just asking you. No, he didn't ask me to leave. Did he ask you to leave? No. What did he call us for then? Huh? I have no idea. I, he's the one that called you, not me. All right. I, I didn't want to have any contact with you guys. We had contact earlier. I know. But now that you're here, what's your name and badge number? Because you, you did you did good also earlier, huh? What do you want it to be? Well, I, well, whatever it is, it ain't what it What are you going to tell the judge? If you go in front of a judge, what are you going to tell uh, the judge when he says, what's your name? Here's the thing. Is it your department policy to identify yourself by name and badge number to the public when asked? Because I'll look it up. And if it is, then, and you don't, you're in violation of your own policy. I already got Michigan State Police on it. They, they, I'm already filing complaints. Huh? So you're 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 D Rockford badge I'm number sorry, eight, you got it. and you are who? Three ninety four, yeah, and what's your name? Three ninety four, Michael Nottam. All right, appreciate it, guys. Yeah. What's your name? I'm not gonna give it. Oh, you can ask our name. Oh, you, you you're a public servant. Service. You're a public servant. You're required to. You, that's that's listen. your job. Call good me citizen good citizen. One, good citizen number two. There you go. Good citizen one and good did citizen I do two. Here right now? You did, brother. Awesome. You did awesome. Did you absolutely <laughs> did, man. You're gonna write a letter to my boss, tell him how well I, I Well, I was gonna come back and get your name and badge number so I could put in, you know, tell him what a good job you did when I came into the city hall. And you you did good. I mean, I know you guys can only go off what information you're given from the reporting party. What was your issue with the post office? It's just an it's it's I have the right to go in there and and to go in there recording according to their own rules and regulations that was put out by the Department of Homeland Services. Right. And I even bought a stamp so I wasn't couldn't be considered loitering because um, I got a letter I need to mail. And what is the price of a stamp now? Fifty five cents is what I just paid. Oh wow. <laughs> no wonder the post office is going broke. Nobody needs stamps anymore between email and social media and, and YouTube and everything else. The real thing here is this guy has a fantastic memory. He does. What are you taking for? I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> I walked into that one. <laughs> right, so, hey, let's get back to business here. I, on a serious note. Okay? For sure. I get what you're doing. For sure. I'm good with it. Okay. Other people get freaked out by it. Oh, for sure. Okay? But they need to understand we have rights as citizens. Absolutely. And I'm a big rights guy. Okay. Awesome. We appreciate that. So, because you guys swore an oath to uphold the Constitution before anything else. Here's what I would. I'm going to guess this probably isn't the only time we're going to get a call. Oh, I'm sure it's not. <laughs> no, I, mean, you, I, I, I was about to actually finish here and leave town and go back to Lansing, and I'm still going to because there's yeah, no other reason for me to be here. It's beautiful here. I love it. It's, it's so much. I want to make sure though the cause gets to be delivered the right way, or the message gets delivered the right way. Well, in some it, every situation presents itself differently. Yeah. A lot of times, um, I'll explain what I'm doing. 
in a nutshell, you know, practicing my constitutional rights, recording from public, I'm allowed to do so. I don't have to identify myself unless you suspect me of committing a crime, going to commit a crime, or have committed a crime, whatever, you know. We're not a stop an ID state. Well, I'm not trying to, well, you know, suspicious is not a crime, and a camera does not make me suspicious because it's constitutionally protected. So I understand citizens get concerned, hey, there's a guy walking around with cameras. Okay, well, do you say that when W6 shows up, Channel 6 shows up, or Fox? Nope. They get more respect, and we're doing the same job. I report news, they report news. Okay, I'm going to call you Dwayne. You know my name. I don't know. I don't care. But Dwayne. Steve. Steve. My name is Steve. Okay. Steve, I got ADD in this conversation. I'm like all over the place. <laughs> Can I go? Yes. I got stuff to do. Yeah. In, 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 the, in the famous words of auditors across America, you're dismissed. <laughs> All right. You guys have a wonderful I'll day. Go in here and exercise my constitutional right. There you go. To talk to. Absolutely. <laughs> you guys stay safe right. and protect that constitution right. above all else. Flying the American flag and the don't tread on me. Yes. Huh? Yeah, the Gadsden flag. The Gadsden flag. flag. The Gaddison flag. So what 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 live show do you do? Eagle and Badger show. Eagle and Badger I'm show. Bald Eagle. The bald, bald, bald Eagle. Gotcha. You, you might know me if you've got followers. What's your name? I might. I'm not big on Facebook. Matthew Clay. Nice to meet you, Clay. And your name was again? Steve. Steve. I'm yep. Put you live on me. So you All right. Cool, man. Thing. Sweet. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. So we we have another patriot here who's gonna live stream what I'm doing today. Hey, come here. On the, no bullshit. This gentleman's live streaming right now. Cool. How do they know my name? And tell me I have a suspended license, or are you just trying to get my ID? Because I don't have a suspended license that I'm aware of. I wasn't ever notified by DMV or anything. Hey, I'm not out here to play games. A gentleman never tells the secrets. Come on now. So can you affirm one way or the other? No, I can't. Okay. Okay. Because I'm I, like, how, how, I don't know. I don't. I, you're Dwayne to me. That's what I know. Awesome. He's been he's been super cool. This guy, that guy there. Oh, don't <laughs> insult me like that.